Welcome to the Make Kickstarter Smart Link Referee Training. Make Kickstarter Smart Link is a competition for teenagers between 6 to 13 years old, in which Mbot acts as a core equipment. Each single match is divided into automatic stage and manual stage. Robots need to complete the missions by line patrol, recognizing obstacles with ultrasonic, controlling servo, visual recognitions, etc. to gain points. Part 1. Introduction Let's start with the competition mat. The competition mat is divided into two parts, automatic area and manual area. The area of each is 2370 mm multiply 1150 mm. Each of the red and blue side has one starting area in the automatic mission area. There are six automatic independent area on the both sides of the mat, named I1 area, I2 area, and I3 area. There are two automatic lines area are in the middle, named A1 area and A2 area. In the manual mission area, there are two starting areas on the left of the mat. Placing area and containing area are in the middle. Loading area is on the right of the mat. Two teams will form an alliance in single match. The number of contestants in each team is one or two. Each contestant should wear contestant card. Two referees will judge the match. Red referee is responsible to promote the process of the competitions, control the time of stages, and record the red team's scoring and violation. Blue referee is responsible to record blue team scoring and violation. Referee should wear referee t-shirt, black pants, and carry competition materials. Each match consists of three stages. In order, they are the automatic stage, the manual stage, and the preparation stage. The automatic and the manual stage last for 240 seconds. The duration of the preparation stage is 30 seconds. In all, there will be 4 minutes and 30 seconds. The duration of the automatic stage is decided by the alliance, and the duration of manual stage is what left after the automatic stage. During the automatic stage, the contestants can compete in their automatic area. Red referee and blue referee respectively stand nearby the area. During the manual stage, red referee stands near by the operator's area to record the violations of the operators and blue referee stand in blue referee stands nearby the loading area to record the violation of observer. The whole competition consists of qualification round and championship round. In a regular competition, each team will participate in four matches during the qualification round. Teams will be ranked according to the total competition points of all single matches during the qualification round. Teams ranking top will form fixed alliance through alliance selection ceremony and get promoted. Each alliance will participate in three matches during championship round. Teams will be ranked according to one of the best alliance total points from all single matches as the final alliance total points of the championship round. The red and blue sides in the alliance are decided by the teams themselves. Part 2. Missions and Scoring Explanation Automatic Independent Mission the mission which requires the robot to execute automatic program. The team scores the points only for themselves. Automatic Alliance Mission The mission which requires the robot to execute automatic program together with the ally. The score is shared by both teams of the Alliance. Manual Alliance Mission The mission which requires contestants to complete by controlling the robot via Bluetooth controller. The score is shared by both teams of the Alliance. Each team should complete three automatic independent missions, two automatic Alliance missions and one manual Alliance mission. Missions will be selected 10 days before the event date according to the following table. The props of the missions which are not selected will not be placed on the arena. 
In the competitions of smart links, M1 to M5 are the automatic independent missions. The scoring category of M1 to M4 is ball. For the red side, the color of the scoring category of balls is red. For the blue side, the color of the scoring category of balls is blue. And the scoring category of M5 are dual cubes and cylinders. Mission 1. Enable solar power station. The prop for M1 is placed in the I-1 mission area. Initial state of the prop. The circular base is completely placed in the circle wireframe and the upper part is parallel to the wireframe. The two balls are steadily placed in the two holes. When the automatic stage ends, teams get 20 points for each ball in the following scoring status. 1. A ball is completely in the arena. 2. A ball contacts the inner side and upper surface of the frame. Mission 2. Sending traffic signals. The prop for M2 is placed in the I1 mission area. Initial state of the props. The bottom slide beam is completely placed in the rectangular wireframe. The lever trigger at the upper side faces toward the manual mission area. The two balls are steadily placed in the grooves. The scoring status of this mission is the same as the mission one. Mission three, rotating radar. The prop for mission three is placed in the I2 mission area. Initial state of the prop. The bottom slide beam is completely placed in the rectangular wireframe. The bottom slide beam of the prop is perpendicular to the rotatable beam above. The center of the rotation should be toward the middle of the arena. The two balls are steadily placed in the holes. The scoring status of this mission is the same as the mission 1. Mission 4. Activate door switch. The prop for mission 4 is placed in the I2 mission area. Initial state of the prop. The base of the prop is completely placed in the rectangular wireframe. The small blue bracket should be towards the manual mission area. The two balls are steadily placed in the holes. The scoring status of this mission is the same as mission 1. Mission 5. Identify obstacles. The prop for Mission 5 is placed in I3 mission area. There are three positions to place the mission props. Before the competitions, two of them will be selected by drawing prop card. The Mission 5 has two types of mission props, dual cubes and cylinder. Initial state of the props. So that the vertical projections of the upper and lower cube perfectly coincide. The cube and cylinders are completely placed in the square, circular wireframe of the I3 areas. The color of the cylinder is opposite to the color of the starting area on the same side. When the automatic stage ends, teams get 20 points for each duo's cubes and cylinder in the following scoring status. 1. Each pair of separated duo cubes on the arena or on the competition frame are considered as in the scoring state. 2. Part of the cylinder is in the initial circle and remain upright. Automatic Alliance Missions In the competitions of Smart Link, M6 to M9 are automatic alliance missions. The scoring category of M6, M7 is green ball, and the scoring category of M8 and M9 is yellow ball. Mission 6 Community Data Inspection The prop for Mission 6 is placed in A1 Mission Area. There are five positions to place the mission props. Before the competition, three of them will be selected by drawing prop card. Initial state of the prop. The surface A of the prop is completely placed in the rectangular wireframe of the A1 area. The surface B of the prop should be towards manual mission area. The balls are placed in the holes. The scoring status of this mission is the same as Mission 1. Mission 7. Traffic Data Inspection The prop for Mission 7 is placed in the A1 mission area. There are five positions to place the mission props. Before the competition, three of them will be selected by drawing prop card. 
initial state, the surface seats of the prop is completely placed in the rectangular wireframe. The surface A of the prop should be towards manual mission area. The balls are placed in the holes. The scoring status of this mission is the same as mission 1. Mission 8, unlock base stations. The prop for mission 8 is placed in the A2 mission area. Initial state of the prop. The bottom of the prop is completely placed in the rectangular wireframe. And the slide beams on both sides of the prop must be parallel to the guidelines on both sides. Mission 9. Unlock elevated base stations. The prop for Mission 9 is placed in the A2 area. Initial state of the prop. The bottom of the prop is completely placed in the rectangular wireframe. The slide beams on both sides of the prop must be parallel to the guidelines on both sides. Mission 10. City data collections. The props for Mission 10 are placed in A3 mission area and the initial props include 25 white balls in a board holder and a container. Before the manual stage starts, the referee will move the board holder out of the arena. The operator can control the robot to load the boards into the container directly, or they can control the robot to move the board to loading area. When the robot and the boards are both completely in the loading area, the observer use their hands or tools to load the balls to the robot or modify the robot. The yellow ball couldn't be loaded by hands or tools. When the automatic stage is over, teams will be scored if the balls are in the following status. 1. The small balls are completely in the container. 2. The yellow ball is on the top of the container. For each small white ball, teams will get 10 points. For the small balls in the other color, teams will get 20 points. For each big yellow ball, teams will get 30 points. Throughout the entire match, the referees calculate scores at only two moments, the end of the automatic stage and the end of manual stage. Part 3. Important rules highlight. Start and restart. 1. Start and restart rules. Contestant must start or restart the robot from its own starting area. During competitions, the contestant can restart and modify the robot at any time. The contestant must restart the robot when the robot is completely in the starting area. Only when the robot is placed completely in the starting area, the teams can modify the robot or switch the program. 2. Robot Restart if the contestant chooses to restart the robot, the contestant should raise hand to the referee and announce, Blue team requests restart. After hearing the announcement, the referee should give an oral response, agree to the blue side to restart the robot. Then the robot can be taken out by contestant for restart. Referee should confirm real-time states of props. When contestant touch props, Generally, they are four states at this time. A. If the robot is directly touching the scoring props, the scoring props will be invalid. In this case, violations with 20 points will be deducted for the team. B. If the robot directly touching the mission props which in contact with the scoring props, the scoring props will be invalid and violation with 20 points will be deducted for the team. C. If the robot is directly touching the mission props and these mission props are not touching the scoring props, in this case violations with 20 points will be deducted for the team. When the props become invalid, the referee should only take the invalid scoring props out of the arena. When contestant restart robots, the robots should be completely in the starting area. During restart, the match will be timed normally. If the robot cannot be reached by the contestant, they can ask the referee for help. 3. Restart violation. The robot cannot start in advance. If the robot is started in advance, the team will get warning for the first time. For the second time, the referee may disqualify team for one single match, according to the situation. If the robot is started with any part outside the starting area, 
the team will get a warning for the first time. For the second time, the team will get a violation of 20 points deduction. If the team touches the robot without applying to restart, the team will get a violation of 20 points deduction. 4. Special case The contestants can only turn on the robot after referee announce start. The robot cannot be turned on before the start of the match. The robot can do modifications or restart without permissions of the referee by the observed contestants when the robot completely enters the loading area. After the modification, the robot can be started directly from the loading area. During the manual stage, if the contestants restart the robot loaded with balls, all the balls loaded on the robot will get invalid. The contestant must switch to programs when the robot is in the starting area. If the contestant completed automatic independent missions, which is belong to others, the scoring props of the mission will be invalid and both alliances are not able to get the score. Contact Rules 1. Contact Rules Direct Contact The contestant touches the props or robots where contact part includes but not limited to skin, hair, clothing, accessories. Indirect contact. The contestant have direct contact with the robot and at the same time the robots have contact with the props. 2. Violation due to contact. When the contestant directly contact the scoring props, the props will become invalid and get a violation of 20 points deduction. When the contestant directly contact the robot and at the same time robot also have contact with props, it will be regarded that contestant indirectly contact the props. The props will become invalid and get a violation of 20 points deduction. 1. Invalid prop. The prop cannot be scored anymore when it becomes invalid. The invalid scoring props will be taken out of the arena. 2. The triggering conditions of props invalid. In the following situation, the prop will become invalid. 1. All the scoring props will have indirect contact with the contestants when restart. 2. All the scoring props that have indirect contact with the contestants when they directly contact the robot illegally. 3. All the scoring props that have direct contact with contestants. Part 4. Refereeing Process Introduction 1. Check competition materials. Before a single match starts, the referee needs to check his or her carry-on competition materials. Red team referees need to carry phone, prop card. Blue team referees need to carry phone, Desk tray, scoring result sheet, pen. 2. Referee login and set match information. Half an hour before a match starts, the match schedule will be announced. Referees need to log in the refereeing app and complete the arena setup by the following steps select competitions, select programs, select group, select arena. 3. Pre-match confirmations. When teams arrive, referees need to check team number, team name, according to the contestant card, then compare this with the information on the refereeing system app. After the identity of the red or blue team is confirmed, the referee will invite teams to select their alliance captain. When teams arrive after the scheduled time, this information should be informed to the head referee who has the right to disqualify a team for a single match. Red team referees invite alliance captain to draw one prop card. Red team referees should announce, Alliance captain, please drop the prop card. Both team contestants shall place the props on the arena according to the chosen prop card. The referee should assist and check the props during the process. After arena checking, red team referee announces, please place your robot in the starting area. Then the red or blue team referee should check if there is a vertical projection of the robot 
is completely in the starting area. Confirm the connection between the robot and the Bluetooth controller. Keep the controller powered on and put it on the starting area of the manual stage. 6. Preparations before single match. Referees need to explain the rules of restart before the starting of a single match. After the rules explanations, the red team referee should announce to the contestants, please check the robot and arena. After a careful check, the referee should ask, could you confirm if the arena and the robot are in the right states? Contestants should raise hand and give an oral response. Yes, I confirm. When contestants are prepared, red team referee should count down 5 seconds and then click the start button of the refereeing app immediately. During the whole process of the automatic stage, the red team referee should remind the time of how many minutes left. According to the actual situation of the match, when teams already have an agreement, they shall raise their hands to the referee and announce red or blue team apply for ending the match. Red team referee should announce agree, then click the next stage button and enters preparation stage. After automatic stage ends, the preparation stage which lasts for 30 seconds will start automatically. Referee should guide contestant to place their robot in the starting area of the manual missions area. Contestant connects the robot with the controller and do modifications during the preparation stage. During this period, referees will record the scores on the app for the automatic stage according to the scoring elements states on the arena. When contestants are ready, they shall raise their hands to start with the manual stage. 9. Manual stage Red team referee is in charge of violations of the operators and the promotions of the competition process. Blue team referee is in charge of the violations of the observers. Before a match ends, referees need to count down 5 seconds. When the countdown is over, contestants should stop operating the robot. And when the match is over, referees calculate points and type in the app. 10. Result confirmations. Referees and contestants should check in turn the point of independent missions and alliance mission on the app. Then, referee will fill out the scoring without sheet according to the data on the app. And both referees and contestants need to sign. 11. Fill out the scoring result sheet. The scoring without sheet should be filled out referring to the following notes. Filling the points of each stage according to the situations. Mark an X when the mission is not complete. One single violation should be counted as minus 20. Calculate the time to the second. Handwriting should be clear in the signature area. If there is no special content, please write an X in the remark area. 12. Scoring explanation. Qualification round. Single match points of a team equal independent mission points for the red or blue team plus alliance mission points minus the violation points for the red or blue team. Championship round. Single match points of an alliance equal independent mission points for the red team plus independent mission points for the blue team plus alliance mission points minus the violation points for the red team minus the violation points for the blue team. Submit result. When referees and contestants finish the signature in the scoring result sheet, the referee needs to check again and confirm the results are the same between the scoring result sheet and the app. Then click submit button on the app. Reset arena. Contestants shall leave the arena when finished the reset. Appeals handle process. When a single match ends, if contestants still have objections to the result of this match after the explanations of the referee, the handling process should follow steps below. Invite contestants to write down their comments in the remark area. The referee should give necessary explanations for those objections and list out the evidence of penalty. Handle it to the head of referee for final decisions. Part 5. Behavior Principles 1. Educational Guide First Warning or Penalty Second 
when contestants show strong emotion reaction and misbehaviors. Referee should inform contestant what is wrong and what is right. Warning or violation comes if guidance fails. Before the match, referee can demonstrate the correct operation acts for the contestants. During the match, referees are not allowed to give any kinds of advice or tips. Two, respect facts, maintain neutrality, respect all the facts. Do not exaggerate subjectively or neglect certain details. Guarantee refereeing process in standard. Treat the same facts with the same refereeing rule throughout the whole process. Three, familiar with all the rules, execute rules strictly. Referee must be familiar with rules and understand all the rules accurately. Before the competitions, if there is any questions about the rules, referee should communicate with the head referee in time. During the competitions, rules must be executed strictly, even when the personal disagreement about the rules exists. Four, pay attention to communication skills. Pay attention to the emotional reactions of the contestants. Pacify contestants' emotions when they feel too nervous or overexcited. When talking with contestants, pay attention to communications manners and attitude. Try to be enthusiastic, initiative, and keep referee authority at the same time.